Welcome to the Enlight online tutorial series. Today, we're going to discuss the settings Maintain Dim Level When Vacant, Dimming Always On, Relay Always On, and the differences between them. There may be certain regional codes or sequences of operation that call for luminaires in certain areas of a building to remain on even when the space is unoccupied. Areas like hallways, stairwells, and entryways may require a specific light level that needs to be maintained for egress purposes and does not follow normal occupancy or vacancy behaviors. Enlight output devices like power packs and Enlight enabled fixtures contain the settings maintain dim level when vacant. Furthermore, we may also wish to not allow the occupants of a space to switch lights off. The settings dimming always on and relay always on can be used to accomplish this behavior. At the end of this module, you'll be able to describe and understand these settings, as well as how to implement them in your programming in order to meet regional codes or other specified sequences of operation. You'll also notice that when trying to achieve this operation, it's important to identify which settings can be permanently changed and which settings may only need to be temporarily changed through, say, a profile scene that can be run on demand or on a time schedule. We will use SensorView to demonstrate the operation of these settings. A couple things to note before we get started. When we use the term lights, we mean any N-Light output device, like an N-Light enabled fixture, relay, power pack, or equivalent N-Light air device. Similarly, when we use the term switch or wall pod, we mean any N-Light device that's issuing switch commands on, off, or dim. These can come from things like N-Pod M series devices, or say, a switch channels set up on an N-Pod touch. You'll need a basic understanding of the N-Light network and sensor view software, if you need more information, there will be additional training information at the end of this presentation, or if you'd like even more information on what you see in these videos or to enroll in any of our instructor-led events where we learn about these topics in a hands-on environment, please use the QR codes to the right to visit Acuity Academy. Feel free to pause the video now. First, let's discuss where in SensorView we can find the Maintain Dim Level When Vacant setting for the devices. You'll notice that we are in the Devices tab, and then the default settings of an output device. In this case, an Enlight enabled fixture. The Maintain Dim Level When Vacant setting is set to No out of the box from the factory, which means that the lights will turn off when the occupancy sensor's time delay expires. If this setting is changed to Yes, the lights will no longer be able to turn off when the occupancy sensor's time delay expires. Instead of turning off, output devices set to yes will maintain the unoccupied dim level until the occupancy sensor detects motion again. Now, make note that if an off command is issued from a wall pod in the same control zone, those fixtures will be allowed to turn off. Maintain dim level when vacant only applies to when the occupancy sensor expires. The unoccupied dim level is also the same light level the lights will dim to after the idle time until dim has expired. If this value is less than the occupancy sensor's time delay, the lights will dim before the occupancy sensor expires. If it is greater than the time delay, the lights will dim when the occupancy sensor's time delay expires. Note that in a real-life application, the unoccupied dim level should be changed to the light output required to achieve a specified light level dictated either by regional code or by the sequence of operation as noted in the electrical plans. Now, if the desired operation is for the lights to remain on, even if a switch is used to try and turn the lights off, we will instead need to use the settings Dimming Always On and or Relay Always On, which are located further down on the default settings page. By factor default, these values are set to Disabled. Note that for dimmable power packs like NPP16Ds or Relay Panel Relays, both settings will be available but fixtures enabled with NEOs only have the dimming always on setting available since there is no relay. For an N-Light enabled fixture, enabling dimming always on will now force the lights to stay on even if a switch is used to attempt to turn them off. The lights will simply dim to the unoccupied dim level and remain there. Note that this setting does not affect the user's ability to dim the lights up and down, just the ability to turn them off. If we're programming a dimmable power pack, enabling the dimming always on only will not necessarily keep the lights on. If we keep the setting relay always on disabled, even though the dimming will be instructed to dim to the unoccupied dim level, the relay will still open, turning off anything connected to it. 
If we wish for the lights to remain on, we will need to enable Relay Always On. With both of these settings enabled, the lights will remain on at the unoccupied dim level. If we only have Relay Always On enabled and do not enable the Dimming Always On setting, the lights will dim to full dim or 0 volts DC, regardless of the unoccupied dim level. Note that this light level will vary depending on the make and model of the fixture wired to the dimmable power pack or relay. Something to note, if you're programming a non-dimmable relay or power pack, you will not see the dimming always on setting. You will only see the setting relay always on. If enabled, the relay will not switch off under any circumstances. Now that we've learned the functions of these settings, let's discuss one more major difference between them. Maintain dim level when vacant can be changed temporarily through the use of a local or global profile scene, meaning the device behavior can change throughout the day or on demand with a button press. Conversely, dimming always on and relay always on are master settings of the device, therefore they cannot be changed temporarily. They can only be changed through sensor view and will remain until changed in the default settings tab. A couple tips and reminders to keep in mind when programming in light output devices. First, remember to use the Network Management tab when we want to change the behavior of multiple devices. Usually, when we're changing these settings, we're having to change multiple, sometimes even hundreds of devices at a time, and we can accomplish this easily with the Network Management tab using the checkboxes for each device we wish to modify. Also, we can have devices in the same room with different settings. As you can see in our example, fixtures 1 and 2 are being told to maintain dim level when vacant yes, while fixtures 3 and 4 are being told to remain at no. And finally, always remember to save defaults and apply now. Thank you for watching our tutorial. You have just learned the differences between the N-Lite settings maintain dim level when vacant and dimming or relay always on. Please reach out to Acuity Brands technical support at the phone number provided or use the links for more information. Keep an eye out for new content and feel free to send an email to learning at acuitybrands.com if there are other topics you'd like to see.